I'm Carrie Tomlinson in Cabo, Mexico, or am I? Maybe I'm the Black Widow in this Marvel movie. Maybe I'm Kylie Jenner on the red carpet. I get those goosebumps every time. I need that. Or maybe I'm the rock in the ring. Creepy, that's a little bit creepy. These are all deep fakes, computer generated people in video, audio, or images. They're just for fun. But in these times of world conflict, we need to learn a new skill. We need to be able to spot these deep fakes before attackers use them to manipulate us. So here are three ways to check to see if a video is human or hoax. On TikTok, Russian President Vladimir Putin celebrates a holiday in Russia. February 23rd, Defender of the Fatherland Day, and also the eve of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. It's clearly a fake, along with the many videos on this account, One Face Russia, and others circulating on social media. I have an important message. Please, stand with Ukraine. But what happens when the fake looks real? In times of war, a realistic fake could cause chaos, even death. I think this is really something we should be very concerned about. Deepfake researcher Sway Liu shows us a video of Putin saying the war is over. So this is a deepfake. He believes it was made for entertainment purposes, not propaganda. Sway and his team at the University of Buffalo study ways to detect deepfakes. They've even created a deepfake o meter to help figure out if the video or image is computer generated. You can become your own deep fake meter Try these three clues. First, the face. Watch deep fake Putin's mouth. The more you watch, the more you may see some odd movement. Sway notes his jaw is a little too flexible for a real person, very common in synthetic people. There is a little wobbling of his, you know, lower part of his face. That's suggesting synthesis. I mean, there is a little bit unnatural motion. It's subtle, but you can observe. If you pay attention to it, you probably can see it. Second, the teeth. Sway says the technology currently has trouble creating individual teeth and may show them as just a large white bar in the mouth. And that's exactly what we're seeing here, okay? This is the hardest part of the algorithm to synthesize are the individual teeth. The video is not in its highest resolution, but generally speaking, give you pretty good resolution of hair and skin and all the other facial parts. In such a video, we should also see some clear teeth images showing up in the mouth when his mouth is open. Compare with a real video of Putin, the individual teeth are a bit more visible. Number three, check the motion and emotion of the person. Does it match what they're saying? For example, here, false Putin makes a big announcement that they've made peace with Ukraine, but with a strange shrug and an odd facial expression. Not natural in this kind of speech. Do you think people should be keeping watch for these kinds of deep fakes? Absolutely, as they become easier to make, less expensive to make. We're going to see a, a growing trend of more deepfakes, better quality, and harder to detect. Early in the war, Ukraine warned that Russia could make a deep fake of the Ukrainian president giving in to Russia. And it came to pass. In this fake video, a computer-generated Volodymyr Zelensky says Ukrainian soldiers should lay down their arms. But check fake Zelensky's eyes. They blink too fast, not human-like. Compare with a real video of Zelensky. Notice the real man's body movements and facial expressions compared to the stillness of the fake. There is a deeper issue. I am Alun. Deep fakes, even if you know they're fake, may still have the power to influence you. Thank you for your comment. In South Korea, this candidate publicly used a deepfake version of himself to speak like a young, hip voter. 
and won the election. I really like Blackpink. Do 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 especially is my favorite song. Here, TikTok Putin deepfakes show him as funny, silly, comical, even hip. Not a leader bombing civilians in another country and jailing people who protest. We may never know if these videos influence his support or if the synthetic sassy version of candidate Yoon propelled him into office. South Korea has a new president. But we can't slow down and check for fakery before we like or promote a post on social media before we fall into that trap, just as the deepfakers intended. If I don't take a second look, I could just retweet it and I become part of the problem. And that's something you know, the users should be very careful about. Up next in our videos on deepfakes, we're going to take a look at deepfake voices. How can you tell if a voice is authentic or artificial? I'm Carrie Tomlinson in Cabo, Mexico, reporting for Ampere News. No, I'm Carrie Tomlinson in Cabo, Mexico, reporting for Ampere News. Look for that video on voices coming up soon.